welcome back I have got all these thick thick paints that I made up to do my um, beachy seashell 3d blob pour there's not much most of them have only got like that much in the bottom so I'm gonna use them up I've added some water because this is just glue and water and paint so I've, act I've added more water and I'm trying to get them to the same consistency as I would do with my bloom paints and um, I'm gonna do a beach swipe using these well attempt to so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix all these up and I'll be right back right oh that is done I've got my beachy colors I've got my sea colors they may not be sort of the exact colors that I would choose but because I'm trying to use up those um, old blob colors this is what I've got um, if you didn't see the blob one the paints are all mixed with Montmartre studio paints and glue and water uh, now this is this is an old painting um, beachy painting so this is the kind of style I'm going to go for again today but I'm going to use the cell activator recipe from the Shelley Art Bloom uh, recipe instead of this is just flow troll but it was it was done you know a few years ago not many years ago I can't remember but um, so using the Montmartre paints with the cell activator recipe uh, and that is just flow troll Aussie flow troll and Amsterdam titanium white this one I'm using two parts flow troll one part paint and I've just got it in here and I've got CA two to one. If you don't know what a CA is, it's a cell activator. It's part of the Shelly Art Bloom technique. Um, it's part of her recipe. So, yeah, if you haven't done that, it's probably a good idea that you do her course, and then you can do blooms and swipes and all sorts of things. I'm just putting on my grubby gloves again. It's probably the last time I can use these guys all sticking together. But let's use them one more time. Hey, here we go. And protect my hands so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use a pillow um, because when I use a pillow you only need a little tiny bit of paint and then you stretch it a lot I'm just doing my regular swipe but with the cell activator okay so we're going to go with the beach first so I've got this light tan color so I'm sort of going to go I don't know kind of like that with this I've probably got enough here to do a couple of pours really but we'll just do the the one first and see how we go and then this one this will kind of be blended a little bit into that one oops there's a hair get out of my painting yes yeah, so a little bit thicker than what i'm used to using so i don't know how this is going to work i really don't and then the light blue here and then we blend a little bit of the darker blue into that one like so and then the darkest one we blend a little bit into the lighter one okay how's that looking so far can you tell it's a beach So now what I need to do is, oh, let's move these paints, get them out of the way. Um, so normally when I do a, a swipe, I've got silicone in these colours, but no silicone today. So let's just see if we can cover the surface. As I said, these are thick paints. Not what I would normally swipe with. My beach, my beach is encroaching. So let me just see if maybe I can just cover with my little tool rather. Because I don't want to lose too much of my beach into my ocean. So if I just spread like this, hopefully that will work. Go over the edges. Yeah, I have no idea if it's going to work or not. I haven't tried it before. Okay. 
I might add a little bit more paint. And I'm not sure how much paint to leave on the surface either. Probably not too much. I'll just do what I, I normally would do, you know, by instinct. Different sort of technique, but it should still work out relatively the same, I, I hope. So give that a wipe and then I'll do my blue. Do the edges while I've still got the dark blue on my palette knife. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Pick up a little bit there. Okay, I think that's covered. I'll clean that off before I go again. Just want to kind of blend blend those colours a little bit. Got a little bit too much of the dark beach there, I think. Let's put a little bit of the lighter in there and kind of blend those two together a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. Got my blending happening. I haven't done that side though. Let me just put a little bit of paint on the side there. Oh, yeah, covered. It's just this one side not covered. So normally, you know, with a normal swipe, I would just pick the canvas up and tilt it and, and cover everything. But not doing that today. Doing something a little bit different. Okay. Um, I wonder if I need to just blend. I'll just blend a little bit of that blue into the into the beach a little bit. It won't stay like that. Once I start swiping, it'll all be different. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that there. And hopefully you can still see this. I've got a piece of plastic and I'm going to put my cell activator on that and I'm going to dip this palette knife into the cell activator and I'm going to swipe with that. And I've also got a smaller one. I'm not sure if I want big waves or little waves. So I've got both of those. So let's get to this, give that a bit of a, a shake, hopefully this is going to work. It's always tricky when you're trying something new, isn't it? I'm just going to pour that out. Let me just have a look and make sure that's still in, in view. Oh yes, it is. Oops, <laughs> I put my fingers in front of the camera. Not a good idea. Okay, uh, let's... Let's do this. Cross your fingers for me, hey? All right, so just put that there and we're just going to swipe. Woohoo! And then I've got another piece of paper towel here. That's my clean piece. And this is my dirty piece. You need to wipe it each time. Otherwise, you're going to be putting blue paint back into that. Okay, let's go again. Let's see if I can pick up a little bit more. I'm going to stop halfway because waves don't necessarily go right across, do they? they they're wavy. Let's go again. I come in from this way, like that. So once I've done all this, then I'll pick the canvas up and I'll tilt a little bit to stretch everything out. Just a touch. So where that's like stopped there, I will have to kind of fix that because I don't like that. That's not very natural looking, is it? So once you've run out of your white cell activator on here, you have to put some more on. Now let's try and blend those blues a little bit. I think I dug in a little bit there. It was a little bit deep. I'm digging in my paint. Let's put some more cell activator down. I mustn't have very much paint on the edge there. I was digging into the canvas a little bit, I think. Now, I'm again, I'm not sure how these um, 
Montmartre paints will react. I'm not getting very good lacing there. Um, you know, when I do my blooms and my swipes with that, I do the Joe Sonia's paints, which are probably, well, they are a better quality paint. They're more highly pigmented, so I will get a, a better reaction. But I just wanted to see what would happen. You know, I wanted to use up my leftover paints. Um, I need to get some more paper towel. Got a big roll of it here. See how my lacing's kind of vanishing, which is really not what you want. You want it to stay. I wonder if I can go over that again. I could even try a one-to-one -one cell activator, one part flow troll, one part paint, or just put a little bit more on here. Not sure. Trying to create waves. It's a bit tricky. All right, let's go this way. Okay, that was a nice wave. I don't mind if there's a little bit extra there of the white. It just, you know, looks like foam. So not fussed on that. Is it looking, is it looking beachy yet? See, for me to use this amount of paint of the Joe Sonia's, um, I'd be using up a whole bottle for each pour. So that's why I haven't done it with this. It's too expensive. I think what I need to do is do smaller ones like that because by the time I get here, there's no white left. Okay, now I need another piece of paper towel. I try and get that white into the middle, but you know, you don't want to start in the middle. That's the only thing. So I might use my little, my little one now, my little palette knife and see if I can get slightly different um, look, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe I can actually start in the middle with him. Or maybe go, oh, I don't know. Whoops, it gets stuck in my painting now, paper towel. So I want to try and get in here. I'm going to go on, on an angle like that. That worked? Well, that worked. Start like that and then... So I'm just trying to give it some movement now and add a little bit more white. dripping into my piece of plastic okay I should probably I shouldn't overdo it I do want a little bit more white in there mm, it's tricky because I'm right-handed there we go I'm trying to blend that a little bit all right I'm going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, I haven't got haven't got amazing, amazing lacing, but it's probably, as I said, because I'm using the Montmartre paint um, instead of the Jo Sonia's paint that I would normally use for with this cell activator. But let's um, give it a bit of a, a tilt and uh, see what happens, hey? If it will tilt. There's no pillow underneath it. Just go this way and get some of this off the end. It should still be a pretty painting. It's just not going to be amazing, amazing lacing that I would get with the usual, um, yeah, Shelly Art bloom recipe. I won't go. I won't take all the paint off because I quite like that bit of white there on the edge. Go the other way. Come down just a bit. Actually, I should probably turn it around towards you. Take my hands around. There's nothing to hang on to. I 
It's just taking a little bit of that sand off the bottom there, moving the blue down a touch, just making it a little bit more organic, I guess, and leveling out my little dig-ins where I've made little dig-ins, I guess, with my, my tool. Okay. So, yeah, there's not a lot more I can do with that. Um, a little bit disappointed, I guess. I was hoping for better lacing. Um, oh, this is the type of lacing I would normally get if I was using that other recipe with the pillow underneath. But hey, it was worth a try. I guess if you, you, you know, people watching don't want to go to all the trouble of doing the course and. Um, buying all the ingredients and everything you can just buy your flow troll and your white amsterdam paint and you can get you can get a similar look the lacing certainly isn't as um, prominent it may well be better with a thicker cell activator um, i wonder what will happen if i actually added a little bit more I'm not crazy about that blob in the center there See if I can just fix that little bit there, that blobby bit in the middle. That's better. Now we're, I haven't got any paper towel left. Oh, yes, I have. It's over here. There we go. Okay, so that's that's worked. Okay, maybe I just need to go put a little bit more on then, hey? Let's try again. Oh, not real good at swiping that way. <laughs> okay, that's looking all right. Uh, I think I'll just go one more sort of Blend the light blue with the sand there because that's where we do traditionally get more foam, isn't it? Let me see if I can just put some more there. Whoops. I've gone a bit into my beach there. Let's see if I can fix that. I think that's looking better, isn't it? Do you like that? blend that corner off a little bit so you don't have to um, you know tilt with this I need a little bit more frothy bits just in there though put the paint on there upside down like that and see if I can keep it there for a little bit longer okay yeah I'm thinking I'm preferring that a little bit more. Let's do the same up here. And you want to have, you know, one coming up and one coming down and, you know, for your waves, not just all straight across because waves do make that sort of movement. I need a little bit more down here. I do think that this would be better with a thicker cell activator like in a one-to-one -one, I think probably would work better whoops I got a bit of blue in that one so that's what happens when you don't clean your your palette knife introducing some blue down there All right, I think I'm going to leave it like that. That's better than what I had before. Do I need to tilt it at all? Maybe a little bit, get some of this white off the top here. But in doing that, you will stretch out your lacing. It's going to take that little bit of white off there. 
Uh, no, I don't think it's going to go. I think I'm just going to leave it. Because the more I stretch it, the more of the lacing's kind of breaking and I'm losing it. All right, I'll leave it like that. What do you think? I know it's not wonderful, but um, it was worth a try and it is, it is beachy, that's for sure. Just cleaning up here. See that white on the edge there kind of bothers me a little bit, but I don't think it's worth trying to tip it off. But anyway, first, first go with this. Um, I probably will, no, not probably, I will do another one where I put down the pillow paint and I use the same colours and I lay them out and I do the swipes like this rather than oh, just doing the swipe from the centre out. Okay, so that will be coming up soon. I'll do this style with all the same Shelly Art um, recipe. Okay, let me take you down for a bit of a close up. Turn those bright lights off. Take you in for a bit of a close up so you can see the lacing. So it is there. It's not amazing, amazing lacing, but it, it is there. And that's just obviously because of the um, Montmartre paint. I wouldn't mind trying this with um, Boom gel stain as well. So Cass, if you're listening, could I have some beachy colours please and I'll have a go. Because I did the Blooms um, with her paints and they worked really well. So not so well with the... Montmartre as you see but um, you know it's still fun to have a play with and if that's that's all you've got you know different paints just use the Floetrol and white as a cell activator and and swipe over the top of that and hopefully you'll get something pretty it does look like foam though doesn't it <laughs> got to give it that you got some cells there got some pretty lacing there Okay, come around this way because this is the way the beach is, the sand at the bottom. Oh, I'm making a bit of a shadow, sorry. All right, I love you and leave you. I've got things to do. I've got to race off to the vet, so I will see you real soon for the next pour. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.